So we're going to start off with some sad music, which will segue into the stove posts. And the next episode of a dramatic stove reading. I didn't even have to scroll very far to see. Stop releasing events that only veteran players can complete. I can already tell what this is about. This is the fact that they can't beat Epic Hell and Auto. They've probably been playing for two months. And they're Madge. They're Madge and they're Sag right now. Because they can't complete Epic Hell. Not that you have to. But it's unacceptable that they can. This is a rank 70 player. Xflow 777. This is getting annoying, Smilegate. Epic Hell is impossible to beat for early to mid-game players that don't have specific units. It's not that it'll take us longer to do it. We can't get all the items in the shop. Stop this crap. Stop. Stop this crap. Smilegate. This is unacceptable. Epic Hell is literally impossible to beat for early and mid-game players. I will point out that we're going to go to Google real quick. Epic. Particularly impressive or remarkable. Heroic or grand in scale or character. Now we have Epic. Now let's take this. Heroic or grand in scale. Hell. A place regarded in various religions as a spiritual realm of evil and suffering, often traditionally depicted as a place of perpetual fire beneath the earth where the wicked are punished after death. Also used to express annoyance or surprise for emphasis, expressing anger, contempt, or disbelief. A state or place of great suffering and unbearable experience. Now, if we take a state or place of great suffering and then we add to it the adjective epic this is particularly impressive suffering epic hell particularly impressive or remarkable place of suffering or unbearable experience Wow, that's crazy that a new, an early to mid game player would not be able to complete a place that is a remarkable um, place of unbearable experience. That's insane that a new player, an early to mid game player would not be able to beat the theoretical, you know, a theoretical, very, very hard piece of content. Um, I also feel like, you know, Smilegate, uh, you really should stop releasing abyss levels uh, that only veteran players can complete. Um, I'm going to just push out there that, you know, abyss level 120 as a new to early to mid game player, I would not have the specific units required um, to beat the higher levels of Abyss, and that is completely unacceptable. Um, and I can't even complete Abyss, so Smilegate, you need to stop this crap. You need to just, you need to stop. Why can I not finish this in 37 seconds? As an early to mid game player, I literally just picked this game up a week ago. It's completely unacceptable that I cannot beat this. Now, forget that people like Tristan Wolf have put out a video where they literally autoed uh, Epic Hell with relatable gear um, for anybody that should be able to beat Epic Hell with no ML5s, by the way, um, on auto. And if you were to manual it, it would be even easier. Um, so that's... You know, that that is what it is. But this is nothing to do with it being very uh, veteran. Just have enough units, and especially Hua Young, 
that's exactly what's being addressed here. Then again, you wouldn't expect someone early mid-game to have seven MOLA built units for this single event along with Hua Young, with maxed SC Glenn, etc. Who uses SC Glenn in this? Yeah, for the most part, only veterans have enough gear to begin with. Nine decent gear sets don't appear the next morning, you know? Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! Oh! Correct. Yeah, that's, that's correct. You don't need SC Glenn. You just need enough non-ice units that fulfill requirements of each phase. However, Hua Young isn't the most crucial for phase three. There's been a lot of free gear recently, like AI for existence and gear farmable in adventures. That's true. Yeah, actually true. I'm doing auto hell with this comp. I put Hua Young in phase one's team, even though I can't bear, I can't F her to any units. I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. Doesn't matter though for phase one. It's just that this advent are meant for veteran players, not newbie players. So yeah, rough. But it doesn't mean that Hua Young is necessary. It depends on their gears, actually. That's actually true. That is that is actually true. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I don't have her in this account, and even on the alt that I do, I'm still worlds away from even thinking of the event. Haven't even beaten Wyvern 13, so like, it's nothing made for me. It's still good watching people complete it, though. I actually do. I like this. Uh, I like this person's attitude. This is not made for you. Not everything that comes in a game is made specifically for you. This is the same people. Do the same people play World of Warcraft and go, bro, I've been playing for five days. Why can't I just go raid Mythic? Dude, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for a week and a half now. Savage when? I just installed the game. Alexander Doko. Why can't I beat this, Yoshi P? This is completely unacceptable and actual BS. I am so mad right now that I can't beat endgame content as a player who has played this game very casually for a couple of months. Um... And I think that that's unacceptable. Why does Elden Ring not have an easy mode? It does. It's called playing a caster. Why does Dark Souls 1 not have a, a newbie mode? I can't even, I can't beat it. It's unacceptable. I've literally played this for three minutes. I need the easiest mode possible. And this is unacceptable. It's not Smilegate. You just suck. That's true. Get good. My unit's garbage, and my gear, guess what? I can't do anything about that. It's RNG, lol. I can't believe you just effing said that, asshole. This guy is big mad. And guess what? You actually can do something about your gear. It's called just farm more. A lot of people, a lot of people are big mad because they can't beat content that gives rewards that they don't necessarily need right now. They literally can't even use these mod stones. What are you going to do? Use these mod stones on your level? Yeah, you, can you even use mod stones on level 78 gear? I don't think that you can. But you are complaining about something for endgame players that you need to be an endgame player in order to complete. And this isn't even something for you. Guess what? I can't do Epic Hell myself, but I'm not here acting like an entitled brat complaining about it. I accept my limitations and know my units and gear are not good enough yet. I will just keep improving. That's a good attitude. That's a great attitude. Epic 7 number HPFEQC. Stove 906767226. I like the cut of your jib. It's a good jib and it's a good cut. No, I want to have some challenge. AKA get good. That's right, Necron, right there. See, this guy, you two are on the same wavelength. Get good. I bet you do, effing whale. I would too if I had 98% of the heroes in a game in godly gear. The challenge, have Hua Young and Cheese. Haven't spent a single cent on the game. Cope. Absolutely. Oh, you can beat this? You must be an effing whale, bro. 
You must be a whale if you can beat this. It's the first time I see the difficulty named Epic Hell. I suppose this was meant as a temporary endgame content considering all the units and gear that you need. If Soul, who's collab exclusive, and Hua Young are both a must for this, then it's absolutely a check event. Just get what you can. If you really want to see the hardest difficulty beaten, well, there's gameplay videos. Yeah, Epic is supposed to be impossible to beat unless you're an endgame player. That's kind of the point of endgame content. And if you aren't endgame, you have no reason to care about clearing out the event everything in the shop. Where are you going to use those modification gems? On your free 78 gear or what? D4 gamers. I couldn't have said it better because I said it literally just a couple of minutes ago. The point is Epic Hell should be a faster way to get all the items in the shop, not only way to get all the items in the shop. There's no reason to punish newer and mid-game players. This is the case of the rich get richer while the new players get effed over. Damn. Damn. The rich are just getting richer. The new players who literally don't care about modification stones don't even know what modification stones are. Where are they using them? Nowhere. You literally don't have a reason to have them. Minty came into my channel yesterday and she asked, hey, Shogun, should I care about this event? And I told her, hey, get what you can and then get back to farming Wyvern. Get back to doing the story. Get back to doing the things that are going to increase your account because guess what? Where you're at right now, these don't matter because you're a newer player. By the time these would matter, we might get another advent again. Who knows? Maybe. It takes like seven years before they put another one out, but regardless. Exactly. Six Paradox. That's like saying all of Abyss level 100 plus should be nerfed because new players can't clear it. This is meant to be hard end game content, at least for the last difficulty. You can still buy a majority of the useful items if you can't even if you can't clear the end stage. Can you clear everything from the shop? No, you can't because there is a limit. You do have to beat Epic Hell to get a few of the boxes. But let's be real. Let's be real, chat. Are you going to this is a failed run. Hold on. We're going to go back. I want to I want to show you the, the reality of this. Here is the here are the things that this person is madge that they can't get. If we go in here and we go to Advent. Now I have cleared everything, a lot of everything. We go here. What are you what are you buying? Are you buying the defense modification gem selector? No. Are you buying the resist modification gem selector? No. Are you buying the greater the the hit set modification gem selector? No. Why would you why would you buy these? Maybe the resist, but if you are a new to mid game player, you are not even close to needing resist gear. Not even remotely close. You're probably not even thinking about it. Lifesteal is a, a luxury. So realistically, the things that you would only want out of here are the speed and the pen set and the light connection, which is going to just be a three star. So who cares? It's not even it's not even the one that's just a four to five star. The breezy connection. OK, but you can literally buy this by buying these. You can buy these just by doing regular hell. So what are you missing out on, really? Some gem modification selector chests that you're never going to use? Who cares about hit set? And to the point where you would need a modification gem for a hit set, you would be so far past where you where this even matters. Resist set again is super, super end game. If you're worried about being an early to mid game player, this is not even a thing that you consider. N most of these are not. Speed is about it. Pen set is about it. That's that's it. That's all you're that's all you're complaining about. Ever heard of the term endgame content? You can get everything you want by only doing hell or hard. Besides, what is bought with a secondary currency? Uh, but that is not a matter of doing epic hell or not. 
even more, this is one of the easier ones than before. Maybe you should get good. Bro, your post is embarrassing for a level 70 account. Seriously. Advent is meant for veteran players because it needs a good gear on every single hero. If you can't beat it, then farm it on hard levels. Skip hell and epic hell mode. If you can't clear it still, then your account is not strong enough judging by your builds, including awakening, skill up, and gear rolls. Seeing this post reminds me when back in school, a kid with so much learning courses, call it progress, and a newcomer kid doing the same level of test, of course the learner, well, the learned kid got a better result. It's just that your account is not strong enough because of this progression. Harsh to say this, but get good. I got to level 70 in two months, lol. What does that have to do with the quality of gear and units that you have? Maybe if you got to level 70 in two months, let's say you're a two month old account and you and you got to level 70, you are still a new player and this event is not for you. Oh, my boy Drozen. I hope Dimdrid responds to you. As an early to mid game player, you don't even need to clear out the shop. All you're missing out on are going to be a few mod gem selection chests. Early mid game player, uh, your gear is almost certain to be far too poor quality to even make decent use of mod gems. As literally the only event and rewards in the game that a new to mid game player will not have access to, it's not even that premium of a reward since you virtually have unlimited ability to farm mod, mod, gens via, mod gems via the open recruitment of Expos. That's true. Once they put in open recruitment, it's so much easier to farm mod gems now. I see the event more of like a limit test than an actual rewarding event, to be honest. Imagine if they put an ML5 selector in on his shop with the secondary currency. That would bring chaos. Everyone then be like, Slapping an already dead Wyvern 13 for claws, or more realistically, community complaining nuke. I don't know what the last part of that was supposed to mean, Arcline, but I like the cut of your jib. Oh my god, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Even if the light connection thing was a four to five star, you know, uh, roll. Even that would just make people even more ridiculously mad. Honestly, these days, I think it's funny when people get bent out of shape. I, I Sometimes I want Smilegate to just troll the, the big mad care customers. Because let's be real, most of them are not customers. Most of the people who are super mad, the dude who got to 70 in two months and complains that this event is too hard. I don't know what to tell you, dude. You are not end game. You are early mid game. Not everything is for you. This game isn't made for you. Go outside and touch some grass while you're at it. Get good. I can beat Epic Hell with my eyes closed using one shot level 50 teams. Herder, herder. Uh, I know that you are just being ironic here, and that's not a that's not a real uh, a real quote, unless it is a real quote. Uh, but I know you're being sarcastic here, but actually true. This event is not made for you. Go outside and touch some grass, and while you're at it, get good. That's true. That's true and real. I know you're trying to be sarcastic here. But that's actually a true statement. That's actually a true statement. Just get good. So it's made for whales and people with unlimited money. I see you, asshole. I guess you didn't get the sarcastic, uh, the sarcastic joke. They also didn't get any good gear in the two months uh, or a brain in order to realize that this isn't for them. Reading this and realizing I live in your head rent free is the hardest laugh I've had in a long time. Oh, this is an actual quote. Uh, how can you get this bent out of shape over words on the internet? I'm not sure. But going outside and touching grass may be a solution to get me off of your mind. 
fantastic. Literally rent free. You're literally on everyone's mind and thread. You see what I did there in this form? Why? Because you can't help yourself to prove how much of a cuck you are towards Smoggy and their flaws. Your favorite insult quote, touch grass, wouldn't be enough to remedy your level of toxicity. So from now on, I'm just going to make you a never ending joke of the very being that you are. The fact that you found this comment proves that I hurt your feelings in some way. You poor baby. This is from somebody named Foodalover20. This is literally from somebody named Foodalover20. How can you take somebody who named themselves that? Literally logged in, said, you know what? Heck it, dude. Foodalover20 locked. Done. This is my name. This is what I'm sticking with. It's probably Nazrin, let's be real. Um, how can you take anything that somebody who willingly made, named themselves that seriously? Why, brother? Epic 7 event rewards aren't even that enticing. Except for the MOLA and some Reforge mats, just skip it and do something else. That's true. Love getting that 3-star from the Element Summons. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, don't even, don't even, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Wait, I'm sure that you can get everything by clearing hell and exchange it for the epic hell currency. I'm not online right now, but uh, I was sure that it was like that last time too. Epic hell is just a challenge for endgame players and I am uh, for sure want more of it. As long as no one is left behind and can get all the rewards, which I'm sure that you can. No, I can't. Through the shop, you can buy 10 of the hell currency. You need 20 to clear the shop. That's insane. I haven't bothered doing the event yet, but unless it changed from the last two advents, you'll only be able to get up the light, get the light connections and one out of the six gem mod chests. I suppose just five gem mod chests without clearing epic hell difficulty. True. But again, you don't really need those other ones. You can easily complete this event as a mid gamer and as an early gamer with some time and wise choices. You don't need to do epic hell either. That's just for bragging points. You can buy all the mods in the gen in the shop and skip the ML summons, or you can might uh you can mice dangerously, live dangerously, and buy the ML summon and skip a few mod gems. I'm sure there are plenty of guides out there. Also, there's nothing wrong with endgame content. This content isn't exclusive to them. Why should everything Smilegate releases be catered to early game? That's true. 100 percent Absolutely, absolutely true. Not everything should be really at the end of the day that is that is the way see easy rgb only's advent nature's guide guide to advent use while young again true please remove the 15 percent nature resist mechanics on nature's event uh, they're literally not going to do that they're literally not going to do that it doesn't matter if you have many ml5s or high gears because it all determined by the 15 percent chance imagine losses on stage three because Def Break got resisted. Keck W. Who uses Def Break on stage three? Plus one, I extremely hate it. The modes are called, called, called Hard, Hell, and Epic Hell. Remove that, and it will be easy. That's, that's not true. That's not true at all. Stage three is absolutely the easiest one. If you get to stage three and you fail at stage three, you've probably done it wrong. Stage one and two are literally the hardest ones. Stage three is literally just an easy mode. At least remove it from PVE. It has no business being there. It's just wasting our time. How many threads? How many threads will there be on stove every week about the 15%? It's wild, dude. It's, it's actually wild. PVE design, this is going to be really good. Do these clowns at Smilegate design every PVE content around people having access to any character they want with decent gear on all of them? Just pay 24-7 for gear farm. Looks like somebody who got filtered. Maybe they should get good. I've commented about this in an earlier thread, but yes, the design of the event is bad, IMO. Also, hi, Epic 7, uh, number I9S69K. I know 
You want to say how bad we are and how shitty, how fucking awesome you are. Don't even bother writing something in here. I really want them to. Oh, wait, hold on. It's literally right here. Fantastic. He didn't reply to that person, but he replied here. Do these clowns at Smilegate design every PV content around people having access to every character they want with decent gear all the time? No. They design this around you having gear for nine characters, which is certainly not a lot. Using gear that you can completely funnel into whoever you want via free equip, meaning whoever you use will be decked, that's what it's designed around. Those nine heroes that you choose to use are going to come from a pool of variable heroes whose size is yet to be determined because the content is now only four hours old. But if the previous advent is any indication, at least 25 heroes will be seen as usable by the end. So maybe you should, uh, you know what? Wait a bit. Sup, Mac? Stay mad. You know what? I'm going to say that Epic 7 number I9S6K, 69K, uh, is up there on my tier list of stove posters alongside of Trozen as the people who I really appreciate because stay mad, bro. Stay mad. He 125 heroes is not that much. You expect everyone to have almost a third of them, especially in a gotcha game. That's bad game design. Not every player can play 24 seven and spend a hundred dollars a week on summons. We're here to have fun playing the game. So good for you that you can beat it. Congrats. You got lucky paid enough to get the units who can actually complete the advent or have been playing for so long that you have 50% of the units in the game. But we don't have that luxury. We don't have that luxury. Insane. Crazy, dude. Actually nuts. Oh, it's my boy Dimdred. Uh, it's, oh my god, dude. It's my boy Dimdred. I'm so excited. I mean, their E7 World Cup broke TOS by paying for a pre-farmed account. So in theory, you can just cheat like their pros do since it's openly supported by the staff. That's actually, that's actually not true. Brother Stone did in fact, like say that he had other people that helped farm for him when he wasn't farming, but he played on the account. I mean, sure, he shouldn't have said that. Yes, did it break TOS? But he didn't just literally buy an account. He literally just didn't didn't just buy an account, Dimdred. You're being dishonest. But that's not surprising. Not to mention global top arena spot is taken by someone who asks their guildmates to lose on purpose to them. Smilegate was informed, given screenshots, proof, and basically went, well, okay. Cheating is okay as long as they profit. Still, still kind of up in the air. I haven't really looked too much further into that. Uh, one of these days we will. I agree. I feel like these Advent side stories should be strategically difficult, not difficult, artificially difficult by making the gear or hero requirements through the roof. How? Somebody explain to me how it can be strategically difficult while not artificially difficult by making gear and hero requirements. Like, how, how can you do that? By normalizing stats or something. Like, like Ancient Inheritance, kind of. Like, that would be the only way you could do it. Like, that's the, that's the only way that you could, that you could do it. Like normalize everything across the board, but and then that, at that point, people would still be like, "Well, I don't have these heroes." Like, so what? Now we give you all of the heroes as well. So we give you all of the heroes, normalize all of the stats, and then you can strategically work on this. Okay, so then what's the point of the rest of the game? Like, there is none. Stove posters. Also, yes, if people are caught cheating. They get stripped of their their legend that happened in RTA. Since you've changed all the Molagora seeds to Molagoras, there's no way to get Arena from the connections now. And that's a very big downside for a new account. That's actually that's actually a good point. Yeah, that's that's actually a good point. This is actually hold on. 
Hold on. There's actually a, a a good a good post. There's actually a good post on stove. This is insane. This is actually nuts. I can't beat nature's decline and decay. This guy is rank one. So as a newish player who's been playing for roughly two months, I'm extremely disappointed with this event. I was super excited to be able to get these amazing rewards, to be able to push my account to Banshee 13. What do any of these rewards do to push your account to Banshee 13? What do any of these rewards do? The penguins, the epic penguins? Is this what was holding you back from being able to push to to Banshee 13? Was it the epic artifact charm? Maybe the two Molagoras. Or maybe it was the Reforge material selection chest, which you can do because you can get it all from the normal mode. I know what it was. It was the gift of luck. The gift of luck to be able to get that friendship to 10 so that you can get the three free Molagoras along with the two other Molagoras. That was going to be able to push this person to Banshee 13. However, because I decided to focus on Wyvern Hunt for the first 80% of my heroes are... For the first 80%, my heroes are water. The other 20% are earth. I've had 10 six stars fully built, which makes this event impossible for me to complete, even on the easiest difficulty. I can barely get the boss below half HP. And I feel like I'm being punished because I decided to do what every new player does, which is focus on Wyvern first. I'm sorry to read this, but there's nothing that you can do. Smilegate effed this one up big time. I played Epic 7 for two years and have no problem with heroes, etc. I finished the normal version of this fight, but hell? Seriously. What a stupid design of a boss. The last phase is what grinds my gears. The in-game guide literally says get heroes that can't debuff, counter, and should be able to buff either themselves or the whole group but the boss dispels one buff randomly for two units and decreases CR by 30% plus stigma debuff, which while getting stronger and stronger each round, yeah, keep the shit to yourself, Smilegate. Most of your player base has not 200k CP units or OP units like Hua Young that can solo the last phase. Oh, and there's a third difficulty. Imagine playing for two years two entire years playing this game and you can't figure out how to beat regular hell mode dude if you can't play if you can't clear normal hell after playing for two years you just suck who are the dumb dumbs like this guy's post who are the dumb dumbs that liked this guy's post dimdred are you fucking stupid or something it doesn't matter if I've played for two years or since the beginning, you absolute dipshit. Imagine people not having so much luck in this game with heroes or crafting gear, etc. Turn on your brain before you say something. Maybe you, my friend, should do similar. That's crazy. Two years. And you can't beat this. That's insane. OP says, I expected to clear this out and get endgame mats as a two-month player. Reply says, I expected to clear this within the first hour. Both prove they're clueless. To the OP, this is endgame content with endgame rewards. Previous advent was also very difficult because as a nearly four-year-old game now, it has to be, or else veterans would just face roll everything and then complain there's no challenge. Clear what you can, but you won't clear it all. And that has nothing to do with your hero roster. You had no hope from the start and still have to work your way up like you would with any other game. The Replier. Do you forget how long it took people to devise realistic strats for the Ice Advent? Do you forget how much longer it took for people to make reliable auto comps for it? You expect to beat this within the first hour and then cry when you can't because... Do you whine like this about Abyss too? Why can't that one-time endgame content be challenging but this, but not this? Because it's a limited time event, you moron. New players should be able to clear at least the easiest difficulty. I watched some guides clear videos about hell 
And guess what? Not all players have Hua Young, which can face roll the last phase. Don't expect that all players can have the same units or gear or whatever comes to your stupid mind. Even veteran players, as you say, have not everything. I'm so sick and tired of it. It's like you acting high and mighty because it's a limited time event. So new players should be able to clear at least the easiest difficulty. Nobody says that they can't. Only the OP did. And do you know his whole story anyways? Can you see his gear, his box? Is he even playing correctly? That's true. Guess what? Not all the players have Hua Young. Guess what? You're looking at one YouTube video. In the thread right above this one, uh, one this guy's made mere hours after the content was released and have decided for yourself that it's not uh, only that not only is it the only way to clear the content, but Hua is mandatory because you apparently think like a two month player, uh, two month playing OP instead of a two year player that you claim to be. I'm sure in a day or two, you'll see lots of comps for this with lots of heroes, like what happens 100% of the time. And hopefully you'll remember this brief conversation so that you don't make yourself look like an infant next time the advent comes around. You're bad and grossly impatient. Get over it. The only moron here is you. Epic 7, number I9, S, 6K, 69K. Actually, Savage, you are bad. Dude, do the world a favor and shut the hell up. I tried multiple units for the last phase, and so far nothing has worked with what I have. Go outside and troll some other people, but oh wait, I forgot trolls like you are scared of sunlight and only act high and mighty through the internet because they wouldn't be able to handle the repercussions of how you act around people. I tried multiple units for the last phase and so far nothing worked with what I have. Wow, this is empirical evidence that you have no hope of clearing the content at all and clearly it needs nerfing. Or you could try more because the content has only been released for over three hours. Or you could wait a day or two for more videos so that you don't somehow brainwash yourself into thinking that Hua is mandatory because, you know, the majority of Global is kind of asleep right now. Maybe you should just join them since you're foaming at the mouth for no reason. How about you do yourself and the world a favor and wait a bit? It's also obvious you're mad you missed Hua. LOL. This is this is a great this is this is a great interaction right here. If you're not if you're that good, how about you write a guide and tell all the people out here how to deal with it? I guess you too haven't cleared hell yet. Correct, because why would I even attempt to write a uh, attempt it without a free equip token to pop? Oh right, you're the kind of player that obviously doesn't think about that kind of thing either. Is there a reason that I have to clear it right away? Do I get more rewards or something? Sounds to me that you're choosing to lose what little brain cells that you have bashing your head against a wall while I'm patiently waiting to do it all free and easy. Maybe calm down and read between the lines and you'll learn a thing or two about how you might want to handle your own business in this game and in life. Like maybe having a thread of patience. Or you could just enjoy your eternal struggle. I don't really care. Attention is what he's seeking. You better just ignore this guy from now on on the post. Wait. This guy is the one who's, atten who's attention seeking? I don't know about that one. Oh, it's my boy free to slay. This guy is also a really big brain genius. So let's see what this guy comes up with. This is one of those weird things where you are paying, uh, where you are paying a consequence for trying to stack speed gear as quickly as possible. Yes, if you focus on building two elements to something Fa uh, to something so fast uh, the flip side uh, to so something fast to do something fast got it okay Briefly, do something fast the flip side of that is that there will be some things that you will do slow the game definitely pushes you towards fire and grass units in the beginning so I definitely wouldn't put this one on the devs that's actually a good point they could have easily avoided this by letting us pick which element boss we wanted to fight. Water, earth, fire. It wouldn't even go against the event's name, as all elements are a part of nature, and would give a chance for the somewhat new player to participate. What? 
So they should have all the bosses in one advent. So you could just pick which one that actually does kind of defeat the purpose. That would be a lot. That would be that would be a whole lot of them. Would you want different rewards from each one? Because obviously people would want different rewards from each one or else you would just do one. The one that's the easiest and then you would just go with that one. Like, why would anybody do any of the other ones? Like you and you would complain because like you would be like, oh, my God, well, the, I can only do the water one and the water one is super hard. Why couldn't I do? Why couldn't you put the why couldn't you make the other one that that's that I can do easier because the other one's easier and I'm super mad now because I can't do the one that's the easiest. And this is this is bullshit. Smilegate. Why do you hate me? Just me individually, not everybody else, but like just me. Like, why? Why do you hate just me? I, I, this. Yeah, I can't imagine how frustrating it would be to be a new player right now. OP, I don't want to be an asshole, but two months is way too soon to beat this content. This content is supposed to be like end game or something like that. That's why the rewards are that good. The rewards aren't even that good. I would consider skipping this advent side story if I were you. You can always prepare for the next one. They happen every few months. Take into account the, the mechanics, the element of the boss changes as well. It's not like I couldn't do the easiest stage. It's only because it's Earth, which Fs me, which is super infuriating knowing my gear is most definitely good enough because I don't have the units because I didn't get the units that are basically necessary for this advent. I can't just, uh, I can't just makes me feel like my two months of effort was just stepped on by the devs and half of the community saying to get good when getting good would be for what? My gear is good. So what get could, what get could at swiping my credit card, this whole game can go F itself if that's what it wants. My gear is good. So what get could at swiping my credit card, this whole game can go fuck itself if that's what it wants. No truer words have ever been said. That is the biggest true. My gear is so is good. So what get could at swiping my credit card, this whole game can go F itself. If that is what it wants His two, uh, his two months of effort were just stepped on by the devs. The devs literally took this guy's account and said, you know what? Fuck this guy individually. This one person, just this, just this dude. They're like, this guy's only been playing two months. Fuck him. I hate this guy. The devs were sitting there. They're like, they have a dartboard and they're like, Bop. Epic 7 number 8VLXT8. It's your time this month to get screwed. Just makes me feel like my effort was stepped on. Don't take it personal, kid. It's not. If that were the case, you wouldn't be able to farm Wyvern, for example. Not sure why you would bring your credit card into this conversation. Even if you bought all the packs, I doubt you would get all the units necessary to beat the boss. Some users like to complain that this game wants people to spend money. That's not 100% true. I've got most stuff without paying. Of course, imprints are a whole different story, but i had been here for three years. I've seen almost all characters first banners. As I said before, this kind of event is endgame. It wouldn't be fair to older users that new players who spend less time and resources get the same reward. On the bright side, in the bright side of history, now you know how this content is, so you can plan which heroes to get. Hope that you haven't used your custom banner yet. Do a bit of research, save resources, go for what you uh, will help you the most. Take into account the boss changes. Good luck. Phil Winter, just a, a wholesome, wholesome dude. Yes, here's a big surprise I unveiled for you, my friend. This is endgame content for endgame players. Didn't know endgame content unlocked after beating the first continent, which I can lit which can literally be done on the first day of playing, if you really push. And the thing is, I could beat the easiest difficulty for this advent. Super easy if the boss was fire. I have Wyvern 13 units built. Just not many fire because every new player when they ask what to do first, go for Wyvern. So wait, this guy thinks that because he has four units built for Wyvern, 
that he, he can just beat the whole thing. Does this dude not know that you need nine characters? Like you need nine, nine characters, Bill. Like this dude just thinks he can take his Wyvern 13 team in and just beat it. No problem. Super easy, dude. Just use the same characters every phase. Like 100%. If this is end game content, at least for fuck's sake, lock it behind a later story stage. So it doesn't look like it's meant for all players to be able to do auto, uh, to do automation tower. Later lab stages and hall trials are also like that. So why is this, this guy not going to make it? If only this were fire, he would be able to clear this with his Wyvern team. He's got a Wyvern 13 team. He would have been able to clear this perfectly. The fact that he literally doesn't understand that you don't need just fire heroes for this speaks volumes. I don't think he even knows that the fire advent has different mechanics. I guarantee that he doesn't. He's a two month old player. This was not made for you. Epic seven, number eight V L X D eight. Not everything, not everything is made for you. Stove free and equip on advent story. First weekend, please just use your scroll. Epic hell auto videos advent guide use it use while young it's just that easy dave potato custom banner when hold on wait is it a dave potato custom banner uh where is the dave potato cut dave hope you got lucky on your custom banner because i bloody didn't i got only one five star character and i had to pity for it of course i didn't get the artifact and now I have nothing left. So, good luck to you, I guess. You know, Dave Potato is an interesting individual. Sometimes, sometimes Dave Potato posts some okay stuff. Sometimes Dave Potato goes full Dimdred. Sometimes he goes full Dimdred. Sometimes he posts okay. I don't know. Dave Potato. But we got all we got all of our friends in here. We got we got uh we've got Osha. We've got Blue Bay Berry. Good times. Good times. Sage. Hopefully though, these guys will go outside and touch some grass. And maybe, just maybe, they will get good.